people didn't care as much. welcome to another vlog it's been a minute I didn't film or vlog last week just because I kind of wanted to get ready because and today's Friday so on Wednesday Dalton and I and my dad are going on a six day five day trip and I'm probably saying this wrong to Curacao Curacao I've been saying Curacao Curacao if I'm saying it wrong I know I probably am my bad um, but we're going on a trip, so I've just been kind of like preparing for that also just like getting work stuff done trying to focus on that So vlogging has been like a little bit more tedious and I know I'll be vlogging a lot while I'm on the trip So I kind of just wanted to have like a breather So today's kind of like my little day in the life. That's what I'm gonna do. I just have like a few errands pre-travel errands I guess you would say I just got back from the gym well not back but I'm currently parked because I just got done with the gym and now I'm gonna go get my nails done because you guys I haven't gotten my nails done on purpose for like a month because I just wanted them to breathe for a minute because I've been getting acrylic nails like gel for around two years like non-stop like without any breaks so I'm like I just need these to breathe also it's just knowing that I'm spending like 80 to $90 on a full set of nails, it just kills me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to save a little bit of my money, just do it before the trip to like treat myself. Um, so that's what we're about to go do now. And then not too much going on today. I'm trying to like get as much as stuff as I can done now without feeling like I'm going to be running errands like from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So I'm trying to just be smarter about it, but I'm really excited for the trip. It'll be nice because that's Dalton and I, like my boyfriend, our first vacation together. Um, and yeah, it's interesting that it'll be with my dad as our first vacation together, but I'm still really excited just because I've never been there. I really didn't know much about it before my dad brought it up. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know why I've been like shy in terms of like vlogging. Like I literally was driving around the block for like 10 minutes just to find a spot to literally park at. Like I could have easily parked at the nail salon, but there's just so much traffic to where it's not like people are actually seeing in my car when they're driving. But anytime I just see people on the sidewalk, I'm like, I don't have tinted windows. So I just get so camera shy lately and I'm gonna try and be better. I just don't know how some people do it. I know they just don't really care what other people think, and I don't, but then again, I'm like, I don't, but I do. Um, so let's get these nubs done. I don't know. I was wanting, I always just do neutrals or like a pink, but I've been kind of like inspired by summer nails with like the blues and like the coral and the yellow, so I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do, but... Maybe something with chrome. I really don't know. My nails, I like feel bad going into the nail salon with them on. Go, lady. Um, Just because I my nails are just so dry and crusty right now, too, because I pick at them, which is honestly why I get my nails done, because I pick at my nails less when they're done. So let's go do that. And then I think I'm going to go tan, go to the grocery store. Um... I have a lot of stuff to do at home, so we'll just make this a busy-ish day in the life. And as always, thanks for watching. I hate to say it, but commenting, subscribing, anything just makes me happy.
Okay, so I just got back from the grocery store. All my errands are done. I just wanna do like a quick little haul of just random stuff I got. Because I leave on Wednesday, this is just what I'm eating until then. But I got some steamed dumplings. These are my favorite. To be honest, I wanted ice cream. I don't know why I got this Carb Smart one. I think I was just trying to be healthier in the moment, but I feel like, I, I don't know why I did that. Why not just get normal? Then I got this salad kick. So I'll probably make that for lunch or dinner tonight. A rotisserie chicken, you guys know. I love my ro, oh, hello. My rotisserie chicken. This one, this was the only one they had there. It's hot herb, so I hope it's not too spicy. I opened up these already, but they're peanut butter cup and popcorn. I'm obsessed with sweet and salty, so these are really good. Then I got a poppy. I don't know if I've ever had the watermelon flavor, but we're gonna try it out today. Then I just got some little yogurts. These are my favorite to get the zero sugar ones. And then just like a protein bar. This is gonna be my snack for when I go out of town. Also, I forgot, I ended up going to the mall. I was only, I told myself, I was like, okay, Sophia, if you're gonna go to the mall, go to only one store. I went to two, I went to Anthropology, but they didn't have anything I liked. I always like looking at like their glassware, um, but I didn't find anything I wanted, nor was I really looking. But then I wanted to go to H&M because lately I've been seeing that they have really good, affordable stuff to wear on vacation. And I wanna do some shopping there, but I wanted to just kind of be prepared and not feel overwhelmed when I'm packing to be like, oh my God, I literally have no outfits to bring or I don't know, or I wish I would've went shopping. I think I just got like three, four things, but if you are looking for affordable vacation finds, H&M is a good place to go. I'm not promoting overconsumption because I just ranted about that on TikTok saying social media is too much, too much overconsumption. But if you are just wanting to feel cute on vacation for a lower price, definitely go to H&M. Also, I completely forgot to show you guys my nails. I don't know what is wrong with me today. Um, It's the hunger in me. But here are my nails. It's a really cute kind of like pinky, hot pink magenta. Usually I don't go for this bright of pink, but I just think it's really pretty. And I'll leave in the comments what number it was. Like it was OPI something. Okay, so I made a little lunch. Um, this juice, I've had this for a few days and already opened it. I don't know if that's bad when it comes to fruit juices. It's Natalie's Pineapple, Cucumber, Kale, Celery, and Zinc. I don't know, it just sounded good to me. But then when I tried it, it's like a smoothie. Like it's really, really thick. And that kind of freaked me out. It like kind of gives me like the little baby food in the pouches vibes, like those little applesauce thingies, but it's good. It tastes good. And literally for lunch, it's dumplings or like steamed dumplings and then some of the rotisserie chicken. So sorry if you're a vegetarian. It's gonna finish this little, this little dumpling and then I'm gonna probably nap or something and then we're gonna watch a movie together. Rare Beauty sent me a PR package this week and this was something that was in it, this really cute fuzzy headband. So I'm gonna use it as like, oh, it's so soft on. It like glides right on. 
I'm gonna use it as like my new skincare headband, which I think that's what it's meant for. This is so cute. Why do I look so pale? It's better. But how cute is this? Thanks, Selena. Um, we're gonna do my skincare. I'm not going to bed yet, but I try to do like my skincare and all that stuff before I go to sleep because I know, er, before I get tired because I know when I do get tired, I'm gonna not even brush my teeth. So that's a little gross, Sophia. But if you're someone who follows me on TikTok and if you don't, you should. I hate how cringy that sounds. But I've been, I recently like posted a TikTok last night. Um, just talking about like how I feel like social media has just been very overwhelming. Just because I'm not someone who gets like triggered that easily. Like if I don't want to buy something, I'm not going to buy something. If I can't afford it, I'm not going to buy it for the most part. But I've just been feeling that like social media has just been getting more saturated to where I just, it's just not fun anymore, you know? And I, maybe I just haven't found all the right people to follow, but I just haven't been enjoying it as much. And I almost feel like it's like affecting my creativity because it just makes me feel not as motivated to post or to create content when all I'm seeing all day on my TikTok for you page are like Sephora hauls, Target hauls, makeup routines, girls getting ready to go out. Like it's just, it's like the same type of content, just different people. Even though I feel like half the time with social media, I just feel like I'm looking at the same person, like different, but the same. You know, so it's just making me feel less motivated, which is kind of weird because I shouldn't let it affect me. I'm like, yeah, it has been affecting me. Also, I hate to be this person. I'm not going to show the products that I'm using, but I'll just link them just because I don't want to make this like, I don't know, you know. But I feel like when you watch content like that, I'm like, you just see the same type of people. It makes you feel like, you know, in order for you to grow on social media, you have to fit the status quo and like fit the norm of everyone because... I would see so many people post like that type of content and it would do really well but I'm like where's I just miss like when people didn't care as much like I miss the cozy content I miss just FaceTime talking and like talking about our problems that we're struggling with like I just miss the release of pressure like I miss all the old apps where it's just like fun and dancing and just like having a good time not showing everything you own and all of your weekend plans and just some stuff really I do like like I love watching like vlogs of course like travel vlogs like I do like that sort of thing but I think it really just it depends on the person because like I would watch some people's videos on TikTok and it's like this snobby girl being like travel with me to go to blah 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 on this jet or like we're going here with like just like I I feel like nowadays it's really easy to pick up on like energy that I just want to stay away from if that makes sense and I'm not trying to hate but like I personally am just like I just want to feel like I'm using social media as like an escape in a way you know like we're all busy we're all working we're all doing this and doing that we're living our lives but when we go on this app like I want to feel like I want to feel good when I'm getting off of it you know what I'm saying I don't want to feel like I feel like the amount of times where I'll go on TikTok and seconds after I get off of it, I'm on some sort of shopping website is actually insane. Or I'm just on another platform like looking up things and looking up creators because I'm trying to see what outfits they're wearing that I should buy. Like it's just like, it truly is nonstop. So I was, and I am gonna try to limit myself in terms of like what I post like product E. Like I want to of course like be authentic and I don't wanna feel like I'm selling people stuff. But I still do want to show like the stuff I'm using and you guys watching me use it because that shows that like I genuinely like it. I think there's just like a fine balance that I'm trying to learn more so because I think I get into my head so much by like comparing myself to other people by being like I want to be successful like this girl on TikTok like here's what she posts maybe I should post that like no. It makes me so happy when I do find creators that like I love to watch and like they post the kind of content that like really inspires me and makes me happy and stuff I want to post because I'm like they do really good at it and it inspires me to like create my own individual space within the whole platform if that even makes sense. So if you're someone who's on any sort of social media and like you don't know what to post you feel stuck like you feel like you're preparing yourself 24 7 like 
take a step back because the last thing you do want is just to be fitting yourself into a mold and yeah it's it's fun for a second when you're getting views and likes and comments and you know you might get some followers but at the end of the day like post what like truly makes you happy in your actual daily life and i think that will help more people than you know you know like i want to be posting more of that and showing people you know how you can make your lives better or like this is what i do and what's motivated and inspired me like i hope this can help you and also like motivate and inspire you so that's why I like doing these. Like, I love just, like, slow vlogs. I love, like, self-care routines. Like, and I'm not trying to make any of those routines, like, cheesy and fake. Because I personally do do it. I don't know where I would be if I didn't have time to myself. If I wasn't a homebody. If I didn't partake in self-care. Like, I literally... And, like, I had a whole mental breakdown. Um, yes, like, last night. And I was just, like, crying. And, like, I just felt so shitty about myself. But I'm like, you know what, Sophia? Like self-care and i know that it's like self-care what go get your fucking nails done like no like breathe journal clean your space up like those things sound so so small but literally it is magic i don't know but like right now for example like me putting on like my cute pjs and like this wallpaper i put from fucking amazon it makes me so happy to where no one can take that away from me but also i want to share i want to share all this on here with you guys because i know at least me personally watching people's content that has like a similar vibe or just when i feel that energy from another creator it really does change my way of thinking and like just change my mood you know like one of my favorite creators on here on social media like Paige Lorenz for example and then I'll also tag her like I think her name's like Lavender Mill like her use I'll, I'll tag her but she just posts like really cozy feel-good content where every time I watch their stuff and get off the apps get off whatever platform I just feel so motivated and happy and it's like made me who I am today like that sounds really weird but it's just like like you surround yourself with the right people it really shines through and like if you surround yourself with like the right people it can really change the way you think act feel look whatever and i feel like even on social media that is so true like the amount of content you're consuming the type of content you're consuming really does matter so that's all for my rant i'm done with my skincare now but thanks for listening to that because i know i feel like i just ranted for 10 minutes which i did but i'm gonna watch a little more tv and then go to bed so <laughs> thank you for watching and i'll see you guys when i'm on my trip and curse out curse out whatever it is bye mm -hmm.